This is BBC News. The headlines at 8 o'clock. Results on Greek debt breakup without a deal. Political leaders in Athens say they'll try again tomorrow. It's past 8, you're watching BBC News. Within the last hour, it's been announced that crucial talks about austerity measures in Greece have broken up without resolution and will continue tomorrow. The government is trying to push through hugely unpopular reforms which are needed to secure the country's next bailout. But their coalition partners are refusing so far to do a deal. Well, for more on this, we can speak to Dr Roman Gerardimos. He's the founder and convener of the Greek Politics Specialist Group, which is a non-profit network of Greek political experts. He's also a senior lecturer in global current affairs at Bournemouth University. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. The fact that these talks have, have broken up when this deadline is looming tomorrow morning, does it give you a lot of cause for concern? Um, yes and no. I mean, what we're seeing is a lot of uh, political games being played in Greece at the moment. It's not over until it's over and uh, clearly political leaders in Greece um, have to be seen to be doing their best to avoid measures which are really unpopular. So they're, they're facing an almost impossible situation in the sense that they have to agree to a set of measures which uh, constitute political suicide. There's going to be an election very soon and um, there's, they, it's almost impossible to, uh, to, to, to know what's going to happen during the election, after the election. Um, it's very difficult for them. And I genuinely think that they probably think that, that measures are not right for Greece. So uh, that's one part of, of the negotiation. And they negotiate with the social partners in Greece, they negotiate with uh, the Troika, then there's the private creditors. So there's a lot of, a lot of actors involved in the negotiations. It's a very complicated um, negotiation taking place. But some of the sticking points were, are quite baffling to those mm -hmm. of us outside of Greece. This idea that workers receive annual bonuses of the so-called 13th and 14th yeah. month of wages. I mean, the fact you get two extra months' salary for not doing anything. That's, it sounds bad, it's not actually as bad as it sounds in the sense that people in Greece, rather than um, splitting or dividing the salary into 12 instalments, they divide it into 14. And if you look at uh, the statistics, it does show that um, Greek workers generally um, work longer hours in Europe than many other uh, people in Europe. But that's not really the question. The problem is that these measures um, don't, don't really tackle the issue of the debt and the deficit because they are about the pri private sector. So if you want to um, reduce your debt and your deficit in proportion to the GDP, what these measures are likely to do is actually shrink the GDP even further. So I think, I think there's a genuine issue with the measures, but at the same time, there has to be an agreement, there has to be a deal very soon. Because all the focus seems to be on reducing the debt, doesn't That's it? Right. Whereas in this country, the government's constantly being encouraged to think of ways of growing the economy. That never seems to That's crop right. up with Greece. I think, as I say, this is a substantive issue, but I don't think we're going to hear a lot about growth or, or sustainability at the moment. I mean, it's a very difficult situation for everyone involved and um, they have to be seen to be taking action very, very uh, swiftly. And, and let's be honest, they are going to have to agree pretty much to what the I international so, yes. lenders, if I they think, want this money, yeah. they, then they need this money, don't they? Very I badly. think so, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a, some sort of deal tomorrow, uh, lunchtime or later in, in the day. I mean, um, it's very difficult. The only problem is that the Greek political leaders are almost in a prisoner's dilemma situation. If one of them gets out of the, of the negotiation and, and looks like the good guy, as it were, then the other two are going to look very bad politically. So they all have to either agree to it or disagree to it. Are there any concessions that you can imagine the, the Greek government will win that will, the international partners will be happy to agree to? I think that there may be some concessions. I don't know whether they will actually work in terms of growth and in terms of um, sort of the, the real economy. There may be some concessions. I think it's a very difficult situation. I, th I don't think, I, don't, I can't envisage a scenario of the Greek political leaders coming back and selling a deal which is uh, popular or even acceptable to, to the Greek public opinion. So the, next, you know, the following few weeks and months are going to be very interesting politically wise. We'll be watching. Dr. Roman Gerardimus, thank you very much for coming in.